We're getting ready for the baseball playoffs. The best center fielder you can name would have trouble maintaining on this one. You know, we always talk about baseball turns, how the center fielders turn left and right in a spin. Man, coverage on the outside. Great release by Mooney. That's when they're going to lock him up with Jalen Ramsey. Watch this. This is outstanding defense. Just outstanding. This is the China route that Hunter Renfro is making famous. Out, up, and back in. He did it last week. DK right here in the slot. Watch this move to the outside. Move out, out, bam. Double hand, slap, back inside, on. See how flat-footed he is, and he, the second he feels DJ Moore put the brakes on, he's just driving. He understands the down. 50 seconds, because everybody's thinking, that's Hollywood Brown. That's the guy who had three drops last week. What's going to happen on this play? He ran this ball down, then went vertical. I've got to go get there, and then as soon as you do, now they're going to play add-on with a back shoulder to that. There just aren't many. Let's talk about a player having ball skills. It becomes somewhat of a nebulous term. This is what ball skills are. Able to track it. Devontae Adams, I'm telling you, Jim, I think he might be the best wide receiver in the NFL. It looked like they have him doubled. He faced that corner route. Seven and go. Perfect pass by Justin Fields. They talked about pushing the ball downfield more. He's got to be over the top. You see him coming at the screen right here. Watch him up top. He's playing that deep half. Dean Pease is just... He's got to be kicking himself right now. Now this is just one of those great battles during the course of the game that everybody's been looking forward to. These two have played against each other twice a year their whole careers. Jalen Ramsey at Jacksonville, DeAndre Hopkins at Houston. Tampa Bay coming up on the schedule. Carolina off to an excellent start. Had a tough one today. Having a tough one today at Dallas, I think. I know. Mark goes all the way. Look at the speed. Runs right by James Bradbury, runs right by the secondary. Or reduced splits two by two. Henry Ruggs is trying to get up on the safeties and then just make it a track meet. And I love Derwin James, but Derwin, you can't run with Henry Ruggs. And what he's learned already in his young NFL career, if it's a 50-50 ball and that defender is right there on him. He saw the safety come down and he waved Corey Davis to go deep. And then just delivered. Tommy Tremble sets it with that burst release. That's a read. DJ can break out. We saw him do it earlier. A first down for Minnesota to the 40. We can see they were in press coverage, but you have a safety over the top. Again, just finding your mismatches. Now, he went to the top of the screen. Robbie Anderson with a little double move. He's got him. The touchdown. A touchdown. You see they got C.J. Henderson. He's just signed this week out playing man-to-man -man against one of the elite, elite wide receivers. Great ball placement by Dak. They call that dropping it in the bucket. I mean, he couldn't walk out there and hand him that ball. Trying to, to, to field the punt. He comes out of nowhere, out of center field. He sees it coming. Here he comes up and puts his hat right on the football to prevent the first down. That's a heads-up play from Hunter Renfro. You know, and he saw it even before the ball was snapped. He started creeping down and walking towards it. Anderson, you don't go to DJ Moore, you go to Brandon Zilstra. That's exactly what we said. But they call this a seven stop. He kind of sells a corner out, pulls the string back, on, pulls the brakes. Well, Tannehill going for the rookie from Oregon State. One on one, done. Great position, turns, plays the football. And Linebackers bit up on play action. Mooney running free through this line's defense. Great catch. An even better catch. Tenth play of the drop. Yeah, he's on the rookie Tyson Campbell, and you see he's just got an extra gear. Once the ball's in the air, he's able to just keep on. And this was totally called for him. You mentioned the motion out of the backfield. He came from the running back position to establish outside. Inside arm. Watch him undercut this. Watch his left hand. Even if he misses. One of those things where, you, you know, you kind of fake the screen a little bit and you get the defender to go flat-footed, but that's not the case. Just a little outside release, gets back inside, gets on top, and David Long can't get through to make a play. On Kendall Fuller, look at him, just stutter him at the line, just hold him for half a second, and hey, I love... You see Cedric Wilson right here, number one. He goes out like he's going to stalk for the flat route, and nobody carries him. 
Great play design. You see Diggs. You see Diggs right here. They show pressure. Everyone drops. And Sam Darnold just, he doesn't see him. He feels like he has Robbie Anderson. Watch Robbie Anderson here. So he's kind of dead. Kind of dead. Sees his quarterback. He tries to go deep. Now watch how assertive he is coming forward. Tennessee wasn't, wasn't lined up. They weren't ready to play the Jackrabbit. He's late. Really a great job by Zach Wilson. He sees it. They're not ready to play football, and he knows exactly right there on the snap, where is my matchup? Just a great job of pre-snap, reading the deep first thing. I can't believe there's no safety back on this coverage and that this the middle of the field is wide open. And then Bryce Hall is beat and then has good recovery. They feel that Diggs is going to mirror DJ Moore. They feel like they can still win that matchup against what's become one of the premier. Taking advantage of a big cushion, about a 10-yard cushion. Same route, one-on-one. -on -one. Christian Fulton is playing inside, and then Davis, that's how you make up for it, right? Late round draft picks, and they're unheralded, but I tell you what, Bryce Hall has been playing some really good football. So they got in a cup what we call a cover three. Bobby Anderson been a little slow. Why hasn't he gotten a lot of targets? Because he's got DJ Moore. They've developed an unbelievable chemistry, but listen, this has nothing to do with the play. This is just the guy making an unbelievable. Really a nice job in coverage here. And the New York Jets, they come with a blitz. And did he catch that one-handed? I couldn't tell. It sure looked like it live. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you can't can't really cover a guy any better than that, and you also can't put a ball on someone any better than Lawrence. Well, and Chenault, he pushes up, and he does then get Hilton on his heels. But here's Irwin. They, they run a tight bunch formation. They spray the release, and it's just a perfect thrown ball. Trevor Lawrence of 50 yards. He just gives him a chance. Chenault going against Waynes, who has not played football in a long time. And gets turned around, doesn't locate the foot. Well, Jamar Chase is going to attract a lot of attention. They, they try running underneath to take away that deep throw. He's got an outside leverage corner, and yet he's able to get him turned. I mean, it's really That Adams has been the target. And they're trying to double team with the guy underneath, so you have to protect it over the top. Third catch for 46 yards. It couldn't have come at a better time. Yeah, and John Ross is lined up against the rookie Paulson Adebo. You notice that Paulson, he keeps going now to this press bail. Looks like press and bails out, watches. Running unit, Vikings have life. A wheel route on the outside. Harrison Smith with no help from the safety because the safety ends up jumping the dig. Denzel Ward has been playing all day. This ball is perfectly, I mean perfectly dropped. Very smart from Stanford. And watch how he plays this. This is called press bail. He looks like he's going to press instead, bails out. And Mayfield saw the safety in the middle of the field, so he came back. He kept his eyes in the middle to the left. Rudy Williams is the corner on the left side of the field. Adam Thielen is on the right-hand side for Kirk Cousins. He comes off the play fake, trying to get Thielen down the other way. Rudy Williams recognizing what they're trying to do. He has no responsibility. He backs up a little bit. He avoids the rush. He knows where his intended receiver is going to be, and he just lofts it out. He's good, but he's a rookie, and wow. You saw how quick that move was? That was lightning quick by Kadarius Tony, and stays on his feet. <laughs> he makes them all miss. He doesn't score, but wow, he's a hand. He landed on the ball. Cousins was under pressure, that blitz by Taki Taki, and... Nice job, high point that football, using his hands. Got both feet down. He caught that. Looks like a catch. Not even close, Gus. By Daniel Jones, Kadarius Tony in that cut split. And you see, he's going against best on best, right? They're going to try a double move. Look, he goes in on a slant, then it looks like an escape, and then he peels it or wheels it up to the corner. First thing on the scouting report that you read about John Ross, fast, super duper Fast. Look how he just blows by is that Paulson Adebo. The one thing that you want is you want receivers who are not afraid to come inside. Cortland Sutton does a nice job threatening the defensive back outside. Speed, it looked like he got that second foot down. Let's see if we go into slow-mo here. He's got the ball. One, two. Ball secure. Elbow's not down. It is not down. 
Cleveland is challenging the ruling on the field of a completed pass. Good job of getting penetration and forcing Allen off of his line. Instead, he comes back, uses his athleticism, but the down tight to Brandon Cooks, who's coming up on the backfield, and run Conley on his corner route. But Levi Wallace does a good job. It wasn't a good enough pass. You know, let me tell you how big that is for the Giants. And Kenny Galladay winning the one-on-one -on -one matchup against Marshawn Lattimore. A little physical right there. I love that the officials let them play, but they can have success on the outside. So upset jumping him out because he knows he has inside help. There's two guys that are supposed to be terrific to start. Well, and you see Cousins wind up. He wanted to take Jefferson on the deep corner route, but at the last second, he sees Greedy Williams. Just an in-cutting route here by Samuel. And look at this mustard that uh, Trey Lance puts on this ball. You see Diggs reads it perfectly. Chemistry developed between Kyler Murray and A.J. Green. The back shoulder throw, not real easy. Once he gets on top, put your foot in the ground, come back a little bit. Another great route by Cooper Cup. Watch number 10 right there. Watch this little inside out. Gets vertical, stumbles a little bit. But I don't think that stumble impacted the location of the throw. He's meaning he's not connected. Watch the double move up top. Right here, he stops his feet. Now what do you do? Play the hands of the receiver right there. The trust, I mean, Cooper Cup is running right into the middle of the field with three defenders converging on him. This great play action. Watch Russell Wilson come out, and now we just get the throwback, the leak across the book now it's just throwing a slant out here to dk metcalf bam he hits it mostly does a great job anticipating that it's coming and kyler murray's arm is but there's some really nice touch watch him drop it over the top here with david long underneath eyes back on the quarterback and just drops it right over the top or just inside of that so you can run one of your deep red zone plays right you want to you'd rather not settle for a hail mary of everything at you in the passing game you're going to have empty you're going to have play action straight drop back pass right here run right up on the toes of the defender marco wilson and break to the sideline and this is just an absolute prayer to mclaurin that gets answered <laughs> way to stay alive look at heineke can't believe it and miami right back in it Busted play, Jacoby just trying to find somebody. Parker was running across the back of the end zone. See the pass interference. Pass interference, defense number 27. A penalty is declined, the pass was caught, and it's a first down for Miami. So strong, so good with the ball in the air. Absorbing the interference and still making the catch. And these are the kind of plays that they have to do more of. Of the play, securing the football, through the ground, he's got to survive the ground with the football. I love the design right here, letting Taylor Heineke uncork one. Unfortunately, he's got to get this ball out sooner. It took him three resets to get In a nice completion. Press him and then snap it off. That's a really good route. The first pass play that goes over 20 air yards this year for Atlanta. Look, you see him again out here on Arnett. And Arnett's got good coverage on him. As a matter of fact, he's grabbing him, pushing him, holding him. And this guy, Mike Williams, is going to win to send Ruggs deep across the field with an in-breaking route coming from the other side. You see Nasir Adderley. He's tracking it the entire time. He's able to get a good break on it, come over the top with the PBU. Watch him at the line of scrimmage. Look at that release. Damon Arnett is like, he has no idea where Mike Williams went. And three. Nate Burleson appreciate a little toe drag swag on that one. Bad did it. Nice. See Phillips are there. Yeah, a little surprised on the outside. They have safety help over the top, but JC Jackson and Mike Evans has just been going at it all into some zones here with uh, in front of JC Jackson. So it was a heck of a battle for a little while. It was just strictly one on one. But remember, we were talking about a jump. This time, JC Jackson is going to give him a little room outside. Evans going to take advantage back to the inside. That is going to be a battle all night long. J.C. Jackson was just phenomenal. Right. See, take a look. From here, it did look like Evans was trying to break it up and pull Jackson away from that ball. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. You see, just getting the depth there. Well, and you leave Anthony Averett out there on an island against a big 6'4 receiver who gets... A little bit of a positional adjust deep and, and Sammy Watkins working underneath and I just like the flick of the wrist in this throw because it's right on line leading Sammy Watkins 
and they're going to stay out there. The offense, special teams came out for a second. On third and long, Lamar Jackson extending the play and then deciding, I don't just want to run out of bounds. There are three Raven defenders there in that ball. How close was it? It was so close because he does a little bit of a slant and go. You're going to watch. He'll be on the inside right there. His job is to take away anything vertical and inside. The most. I mean, he's unbelievable. Look at him inside right here. He's like, oh, go inside, come back out. He can a gift in just short spaces, but he has speed. You see the offside. But look at the little wiggle to get Alexander just to bite for a second. It'll be third and one coming up. Look at this catch by Juju. Yeah, and Juju's always been 